Now we are a few, like 10-15 uh, minutes after I started. So you see voltage has dropped like a uh, 2 volts or something. The cells too, the cells are back to like down to 323, 27. They were at 3 30 something, 35, 37. But they're gonna stay like this, decreasing a little bit at a time. Here we we still read 10, 10 amps more or less, but just the watts generated back into the grid or into my house system, I would say, is has gone down. It's 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 gonna stay more or less here. 4, 12, 4, 10. I usually see 4, 10. Remember, we see 10 minutes later we started at uh, 4:45, I think. That's that's a 500 watt uh, grid time inverter, but it's gonna give give uh, this much with this battery pack. It goes from uh, 30, 30 again. I'm not sure, 30 to 60 volts. That's why I chose this one. I had smaller ones before, but they were they would work from 10 to 30 volts, so I would use them on half a pack, one on each half pack. But then I I wanted something more uh, more simple, and I uses the whole pack um, just at once. Here you see some damaged cells, uh, some show negative, some cracked a little bit, some did some weird weird noises and show zero. I will have to maybe open them and get the individual cylinders out. They're made of uh, three uh, 13 amps, amp hour bars uh, tied together in parallel so maybe I can see if some can be used again and the rest will go to recycling. Here, this is the latest version of the uh, engineer BMS with a remote display. This is a USB, there's a SD card. This is used mainly to to stop the charger once you reach 2.8 volts on a single cell. You have all this harness of wires. I used to have this uh, tied, tied up to my cells here, but I realized that was a, a bit of a problem for my project because like Jack Rickard says on EVTV uh, you will see the episodes on my blog um, BMS is not a, a good solution to uh, to use this uh, to use on uh, this kind of uh, uh, lithium um, iron phosphate batteries it's just gonna create a problem once you reach the lower limit of the cells. They will try to balance everything, but uh, at the top. But what you don't wanna have is a uh, damaged cells when once you reach the lower voltage, lower limit of the cell. The, you want all the cells to. Uh, he explains this much better than I can. But uh, you want all the cells to go down in the same way the bottom you don't want one or two going down faster than the other so that's why you don't want to use a BMS you, you just want to follow his advice and uh, bottom balance everything which means before you start anything putting the pack together uh, you have to uh, empty all the cells one by one and uh, I will show you a little um, device to do that which is uh, here um, I will show you uh, you have to you have to bottom balance and you have to empty every cell let's say at 3.2.7 uh, volts and then uh, you can start charging and discharging and that should take care of it now after two hours of uh, use, I'm gonna see it stabilized, 4 or 5 watts and amps.
same thing here it's, it's gone down by 0 0.01 volt on each cell and here it's 51.9 instead of 52 I'm gonna have to have to leave the house for, for a few minutes so, uh, because I was I don't want to have any <laughs> surprise when I come back I'm just gonna stop uh, by the way, I took watts on meter down, downstairs, so you can see here. Well, it's a bit bright, so it's difficult to adjust for the iPhone. Here, we're around 550 watts. That means the, the, uh, that means we are consuming 900 watts minus this 400, and that's 500. So I'm gonna stop, and you'll see the the adjustment on watts on meter let's switch it off here and it goes back up 900 more or less the, that's about it here it goes back up of course voltage sag is now cancelled it, it, goes, it goes back up to 53 53 something here the single cells are back up to 3.33 and here it's all zero more or less that's it let's start again the voltage of the pack is now 53.3 I'm going to see individual cell voltage 335 for this one here 334 for this one up there let's switch this on and we're gonna use inverter mode again let's go Cranking up. Four thirty watts. Ten amps as usual. It's gonna slowly decrease. And here voltage sag. Point one volt more or less. And here one point uh, one volt. A few hours later, this is what it looks like. Uh, it's six uh, six uh, uh, p.m. So overall voltage shows uh, fifty point five. Uh, individual cell voltage three both three seventeen the same. I will have to check the others because they might be a bit different. And I'm gonna be more careful towards the end because uh, uh, they are not very well bottom balanced. So you see that um, still uh, we still see 10 amps going through the ammeter from the battery to the grid tie inverter, and we are still producing 405 watts.